Good luck. Final one. I no want to say hi. I want to say hi. I know you're going to. Fine. Let me, but, let me say, say hi. I want say to say hi. Say, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey. I'm sorry. You, you got so far. You got so far in that one. I thought that was the one. When I heard the first, I thought for sure this is the golden take. Hey guys, welcome to episode two of the Epic Server series that we started. I'm Misha, and I'm here with Ability. Hey guys, what's up? Um, you may notice that our levels and HP and possibly even appearances, I forget where we left off, but they may all be different from what you last saw. And that is because we did a bit of off-screen play. Um, we tried not to do any fights or anything, but I did level up a few times and so did uh, Ability. Um, but mm -hmm. essentially what we were doing was just generating commas, leveling up our professions, and trying to get a bit of a better basis in the server so that we can continue progressing on screen for the videos. Um, ability, yep. what did you do? So I leveled my jeweler and my shoe maker, or sorry, no, jeweler and tailor to level 65. And I got some new items as well. So when we left off, I did not have a Mad Tofu Cloak, but I got one and Gurp helped me craft it. It is a 100 Agility Mad Tofu Cloak and I got a couple other items as well, but I'm still in some Peewee gear. So I made about 100kk and got some new items. So you had some decent success, but I accidentally created a monopolistic empire of mad tofu clothes. <laughs> and, and basically I leveled up a few professions to help me make them. And I just started churning them out by the dozen. And I have now approximately a million commas, um, most of which is in the market. And you have a million commas. Yeah. It, a lot of it's in the asset oh. that is a mad tofu cloak about i think oh 600,000 in the market of those right now but other than that uh i've been trying to set craft and figure out how to actually make uh how to actually progress i haven't been low level in so long so i, I don't know what to get or what stats i should be shooting for so yeah. Nice. Well, I think in this episode, what we're going to do is we're still doing that same quest line that is following the dungeons and talking to the key master. So we're here outside the Chaffer dungeon and we are thinking of trying to do it, but we're a little bit nervous that we're going to be underpowered. So we're going to kind of gauge it room by room and see if we think we can actually take the boss. And we brought some recall potions in case we feel like we're going to die and then we'll just recall out before the boss. Yeah, and then uh, if we do do that, we'll obviously try and let you guys know and you'll see some extra pals join our group from the group. So, yep. you want to get right into it? Let's do it. it. No turning back. I mean, kick me. <laughs> I don't care if you die. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to mention, uh, I did the famished emote in the intro and I forgot it made a noise <laughs> and I was laughing so hard and I was trying to hold it back it makes that like groan noise <laughs> oh yeah I think I'm gonna wait for them to come to me here yeah I think that's probably smart not ever you're not at full HP well I cast mutilation on myself which oh. reduces my HP by 10% I thought you were I thought oh you were they don't hit that much how much did they hit I didn't see 50 no. oh but it it, it does a uh poison as well oh that's not oh no problem. this is easy we'll see way we'll see <clears throat> i'm still nervous no we got this <laughs> what if he has like an explosion mechanic where every time you kill him he does like aoe 300 damage <laughs> don't swap me in i don't want to be well i want you to do retreat arrow i hate retreat arrow you know how much i hate retreat arrow <laughs> can't believe mm -hmm. you'd make me do that the ribs do not do that much damage. No, I didn't see how much this guy's hitting the uh, primitive chaffer. They hit like. Would you 50? say peanuts, walnuts? What's he hitting? <laughs> I would say it's it's in the peanut category. Okay, okay, I'm not too concerned. <laughs> Ooh, 
I, I honestly, Wait, are they reflecting? Uh, I think you're. Oh, yeah, they are reflecting. By a lot. Yeah, it was like quite a lot of reflect actually. Are you sure? 50%. They don't have any. They don't have any. That rib was just reflecting damage on me. Fifty percent reflect. Huh. That is quite a bit. Yeah, we got to be careful about that. Oh my God, Looks like this one's not though. It might be a temporary status effect. Well, I mean, I assume it's a temporary status effect considering they don't all have it all the time. I wonder what to get for level 60. I mentioned it earlier, but uh, both ability and I have been trying to like come up with like sets and we're trying to balance how much AP we would prefer, how much uh, MP we want. And honestly, it's surprisingly difficult. Uh, we're still wearing a lot of PV stuff, which is possibly embarrassing. I'm not too sure. Uh, the progression is so weird now. Yeah, it's hard to know what's expected, but I would definitely need Galanos and I cannot afford one. Yeah, before this we were trying to hunt um, what are they called? Jellies. And there are just too many people hunting them. They're just too difficult. It takes too long. So it seems like we'll have to wait a while until we get those. Either through farming or God forbid. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> purchasing them. But Ooh, that's... that guy hit a hundred. Yeah, let's hope he's uh, the only one who hits that much. This seems surprisingly manageable, but I'm still not still not certain. It would be nice. I think this is gonna get us level sixty, in which case we can probably up our uh, uh, quality of life, I guess. Yeah, I'm waiting on a ring that I can put on at level 60. It's a just ring and it gives some vit and agility. Mm -hmm. When I get... But this... Oh yeah? This is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I have more faith. I think enough. your sword is doing a lot of heavy lifting though. So we shouldn't... Yeah, it really is. take it for granted. It's healing me too. Yeah, my favorite ability has four range. Oh wow, only four range. Yeah, it's it's range modifiable. Oh, well, five range, sorry. It's range modifiable, but <clears throat> a lot of cross spells actually have pretty low base. I think it's because they always get so much. I didn't like You got that. poisoned. I didn't give that guy permission to hit me though, so I might have to send an Enka box message to someone. Yeah. Well, I thought the commentary would be a lot more intense considering I expected this to be significantly more difficult. So... Did you notice we're doing the challenges though? Oh, that's intentional. <laughs> that's just second nature at this point. <laughs> you know it's really scary. Dreams. I, I went to the Dreams Temple today by accident. I accidentally pressed just like the key bind. And ooh, did you get piece of cake achievement? Yeah, Look that was a lot of XP. I'm level 59, wow. And 5,000 comments. But as I was saying, I went to the temple and there was nobody there. It was... <laughs> it was completely dead. So... Uh, you want to swatch play? Yeah. Uh, and I think that's only because dreams kill you in this. So having like a legendary item pretty much doesn't exist on the epic server. Um, it would be ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my god. I was just... Dreams would be the scariest thing. Imagine doing like level 398 where you need to have like good gear, you need to have a really like comprehensive character just to get there, and then you're risking so much for a box that will give you probably nothing. But a box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well I, I think I think later on it would make sense to have an alt character that is kind of used just for that like a throwaway level 200 that you keep on re-leveling up each time he dies but you have all your money making is on a different character that's kind of what i think the idea behind a lot of this is yeah that makes sense i like that idea i'm really really terrified of dying yeah i don't know how it would be for the series i would not mind just using my other craw and getting them up to level 60 and using Gurp as my professions in common making, but I think that would be weird to switch characters halfway through. But it makes the most. I think sense. we're all in. Yeah, that, that's also. I think there's kind of like a bit of <laughs> there's a bit of uh, risk involved in not playing it safe and 
can be entertaining, I guess, in a morbid way. <clears throat> it's gonna be I'm gonna episode do three. Double <laughs> episode yeah, three. We. I want to get to like. I want to get to like level hundred. Yeah, minimum. I think that's a solid goal. Sorry, I'm killing you slowly. Ooh, that one think, hits a lot. Do you think we could make it to 200 without dying once? That would be the ultimate test, I feel. Primarily. Um, you know. Without leeching, of course. I don't think... I think I'm too greedy of a person to make it. <laughs> I will tell you this right now. I'm going to be so mad if you don't kick me from a fight that I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hold someone a hostage? Uh <laughs> Oh, I hate that you have more initiatives than me. You have the better boots. <clears throat> I love that I have more initiative than you. I know you do. It's always <laughs> a contentious topic. My Let's sword see. is so nice. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love my sword. I think all summons are just so... They're like an extra player, especially at low levels where they have, like, proportionally a ton of HP. Yeah. Well, Look at this thing, he just tanked a full turn of them all. Yeah. And he's gonna heal all the back. Is it bad to step on that trap? I think it does minus MP, I don't think it's a big deal. Ooh, I'm poisoned. Look at Oh him. nice, that guy just passed. Oh yeah, he's completely blocked. I like that. I don't know, we failed both the challenges. Yeah. Oops, I left myself in the professions workbook. And oh, I just got a PM. You? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I got one before recording and uh, was able to turn it off after that, thankfully. By the way, uh, for anybody who might be on the Shadow Better. server, professions are very, very satisfying. Or at least in my experience, because they're are so few gathering bots, it feels like you can just get things all the time. So I've had no problem leveling up like Lumberjack, which is on any other server notoriously difficult. There's never a tree. So I'm mm -hmm. happy about that. And even mining, which is even more like awful on something like Illy, I can go into pretty much any mine and find stuff. So really awesome, definitely profitable. I set you up for the... Yeah. The retreat arrow. He doesn't do that much more, but I'll take it. Oh no, that's actually like 40 more. The Saker voice lines are so funny. They're like wahoo. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> uh, so goofy. Hey, nice. take him back. The clear in this room. Oh, that was disrespectful. <laughs> really? Wow, oh, he's the boss. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll win. How much HP does he have in res? 0% uh, res, 680 HP. I don't think he's too bad. I think he might summon a rib, but um, if we yeah, kill him, he definitely does. I don't know. Honestly, you're All right, let's just do... Uh, what's the achievements? I'm going to search them up. Um, Nomad in first. We can try. I, think I don't first think we can do first. Yeah. Nomad might be hard for me as well. All right, I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna attack him. I do you think we can win? Um, I guess the game doesn't think we should. <laughs> oh, you tried to get him? Yeah. Oh, on my screen, do you have uh, only one mob turned on? Because mine. Yeah, I clicked on the mob and he just walked away from me. Uh, -huh. uh Yeah, I think let's just kill the stuff in order and we'll deal with him last. It makes sense. I'm gonna buff on turn one. I think just. To oh, you can hit me from. Oh, that's. It's a trap. I don't think you have anything affected. Oh, no, you do. Oh, yeah. Watch out, watch out. This is uh, based on your MP. The damage. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to not use no. any more MP. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Oh, no. Now I have it twice, though. Um, Alright. Uh, can I reach anything? No. I can't reach anything. Playing here? Uh, no, I only had two AP. Uh. Ow. Ow. I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah. You have quite a few MP poisons, but I think it might be. Yeah. I'm gonna use my shield right now. 
That's smart. Oh, should I though? Yeah, I've been going to. Yeah, I took 66 in poison. That's quite a bit. We're gonna push him away from you. Oh no, because I. Um. Uh, well, he's he's blocking other things from hitting me, so I think I should you should leave him there. Nice damage though, that's great. I'm gonna just stay here because I... Oh, I don't have the poison. I thought he casted it on me as well. That's nice that the Ronin Chaffer essentially just passes though. Oh, oh nice, yeah. that guy essentially passed as well. Youchers. This is why I want uh, what is the Absorbative Arrow so much, because it's the only lifesteal I'll have for quite a while. Actually, it might be the only lifesteal crowds get at all, right? Yeah, it's the only one I know. Oh, no, Bat's Eye. Oh, but... That doesn't really count. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's in an awkward spot. Um, do I think I, you should run up and plaguing arrow him. I can run up here. I just don't want to be hit by the other guy. No, no, don't do that. All right. Play it safe. Yeah. Do you want me to push you, him, anyone? No, thanks. Can't you? Oh, you can only do playing arrow once per target. Uh, yeah, once per target, sadly. Wow, they really nerfed that spell. Yeah. All right, I'll just pass. I'll do this. <clears throat> oh, nice. He's blocked by the other mob. Oh, and he blocked the new uh, other mob. That's this, great. <laughs> this like roguery that he's doing is so weird. It's good for us, to be honest. Oh yeah, it's great. But look at the position of where he's going. It's like. Five different. Should I heal you? Spats. No, I'll be fine. I have full HP nearly. Okay. I'm not going to use assaults because I don't want to be on the other side of him, so I'm just going to chill here. Oh man, he can D lock. Is that not right? Ooh, one more. Now you got to go there. Uh, I always mess that up. Hold on. He's going to make you pay for it, too, with the MB poison. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and he's dead, okay. This poor guy. Yeah, he hasn't been able to escape yet. Does this Ronin Shark do this every turn? Uh, I believe so. Oh, nice, you got him. Uh, where is that? <clears throat> Let's go here. Oh, that's rough. I don't have Bat's Eye again, so. Let's see. Don't you have an ability that hits, like, all these? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, Lightning Strike would be nice. Oh, awesome. There he is. I, I think I'm going to use Shield. Uh, the other guy can't hit you, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Oh, that's and... a big shield. Wow. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go here. Yeah, my AP was a little awkward there. I had to use Assault, even though I didn't want to swap. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so he hits kind of a lot. I have Bat's Eye again, so if you want to focus on the other guy. But it does hit allies, so... It's all good. Um. Should I focus on run? Here we go. I think we should do primitive. Actually, maybe now that he's visit visible. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, let's just clear this guy. Don't want him to hit you. All right, so he does not hit a lot from range. No, he does not. This is such a goofy lineup. I'm going to have my sword go try and find him. Oh, yeah. There's the sword again. Oh, wait. Fair. It's going to go for this mob. Oh, is it not even going to try and attack? What? See, it just passes sometimes. Um, When we get summoning skill, it'll be nice. Yeah, I think we can get that super easily too. Did I fail Nomad? I think just I probably did. I think no, I think I just failed it. 
No, definitely not. Huh. Oh well. I definitely failed it at some point. No, I failed it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time that's it. Next time I'm going to fail. Actually, I need to go back and do the sponge sponge bunge dungeon. We both do. Yeah. Bonk. Gosh. That's so scary. He does like tons of damage. Where is he? Oh no, he's not any of those. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, last. That's annoying. You have a lot of actions. Yeah, I do. At least I can find him and you can get full turns off on him. Mm -hmm. Oof, we're almost done. Yeah, we got this. Oh, come on. That's, that AoE is crazy. There oh, here go. he is. I think my sword will finish him. Yeah. We did it. All right, well, that's that. We got ourselves to level 60. We made some progress on the dungeon quest line. We did the Chaffer dungeon. And hopefully, we uh, by next episode, we could be strong enough to do the Boostash and maybe even the Scara dungeon. But until then, I hope you appreciated the update on the character and all the other stuff that we did today. This is Gurp and Grill. <laughs> And I guess one thing that we can pose as a question at the end of this episode is for you guys watching this series, what portions are you interested in seeing? Because so far we did some grinding in terms of comma making and set making off screen. And we've been recording the dungeons that we've been doing. Is it interesting at all to see some of the comma making stuff and just crafting and crushing and selling of things? Or would you prefer that we stay focused on the actual fight gameplay? And furthermore, uh, what would you guys want to see in terms of quest lines and progressing in other ways? At a certain point, we won't be able to do dungeons as two. Would you want to see us recruit teams and try to interact with other players? Or do you want to try and keep it a bit more grindy where we only out level dungeons and get equipments so that we can duo them or anything else? I'm going to throw a disclaimer in there. <laughs> I am not doing quest lines. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't think people want to see us do Almanacs for 365 days, but uh, if you do, yeah, I'm sorry. I, mean, I would be down to do like a couple of them, but, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys think in terms of the series. We made a little bit of progress in this episode, and we'll see you guys in the next one if we're still alive.